A blessed day and welcome. The verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of Romans, chapter 8 and 26. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. The Lord, when He called us to become His own, already knew our frailty and shortcomings. In fact, He called us to be His in spite of knowing who we really are. This morning, I don't know about you, but I'm comforted through the verse for meditation. For it declares that in my weakness, the Spirit comes to my aid. But not just mine. In fact, the Spirit helps all those who trust in the Lord, including the Apostle Paul. Paul did not set himself on a pedestal as an example of spiritual strength. Rather, he included himself with us as one who was weak. Beloved ones, the mode the Spirit uses to intercede for us is prayer. One of the main reasons that many do not pray as frequently and as fervently as they ought to is because they do not recognize how weak they really are. It's only the weak who would constantly keep coming to the Lord and crying out for his strength. A fisherman was at sea with his godless companions when a storm came up and threatened to sink their ship. His friends begged him to pray, but he said, It's been a long time since I've knelt down or even entered a church. At their insistence, however, he finally cried out, O oh Lord, I haven't asked you of anything in 15 years. And if you help us now and bring us to safety, to land, I promise I won't bother you again for another 50. Unfortunately, many people view prayer as an escape mechanism rather than a constant line of communication with God. Why do we pray? Certainly, it's not to inform God of what we need. He already knows everything about our situation and far better than we could devise. He knows the answers that will be best for us. Precious ones, prayer is meant in part to remind us of how dependent on God we truly are. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit and your power that is unleashed through prayer. We need you more than yesterday. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.